this vending bill is a giant step in our march to economically and mentally emancipate ourselves. The our government has done our heritage pro. This bill, which for the first time is unprecedented, will give unprecedented rights to vendors and not only give unprecedented rights to vendors, but this bill has in this bill introduces national vending policy that is going to transform the vending sector and that is going to bring the vending sector bring vending and give vending its its full development and with this bill that is being introduced to parliament and the country today i can speak for myself i can say i'm very overwhelmed it is something that has been very long in the coming and in the work where we have passed many milestones in order to reach this hallmark. As we are moving forward, we know that there is a firm foundation that needs to be built. And with this bill, that is the foundation that is being laid. Here we can see um, the sentiments of a small country having very big ideas. And as the vending community, how we have been looked down upon, you can see again that we have great contribution that we can also bring to the table once we are given the opportunity and treated fairly like anyone else. So with this bill, what we also see is equal opportunity, equal rights and justice. We see a lot of injustices that have been done against the vending community being removed, that these things cannot be no longer continued as being part of a developmental state or developmental country. So once again, we give thanks. It also helps to reinvigorate within us a sense of pride, a sense of industry, where vendors no longer have to feel that they are not making contributions to the economic uh, landscape as, as well as the society. But we now can be seen as formal entrepreneurs, formal people involved in the business sector and letting our opinions count, letting our ideas count, helping the young children who have the ideas but never have the avenues that they can now soar. And with Barvin, we are saying with this bill that not even the sky is the limit. And Barvin continue to always put the emphasis in the children, knowing that the children are our future. So once again, in order to be contributing and playing our part as part of the National Transformation Initiative, well, this is the foundation that Barvin has planned, has worked very hard on laying, and we give thanks once again to Minister Simmons, as well as to the Mayor Motley administration for working so tirelessly and hard um, for the process that in such a short period of time that they could bring it to fruition. Where we could see now that it is no longer just talk, as talking to make people better, talk about empowering people, but this ministry and this administration is taking the necessary steps right, to see that this year so come to manifestation. And Barbin will also want to express that it is not us in ourselves as an organization, but this one goes out to the whole nation. So we give thanks to the Samuel Jackman Polytechnic students, we give thanks to the Barbados community students, we give thanks to all the stakeholders and all the players that have contributed to this bill, going through all the necessary framework that was needed um, in order to bring it to Parliament on this day. So Barvin, thanks you, Minister. We thank you, Ms. Motley Administration, and we thank you, Barbados. And we ask that you all endorse it and see it as the way forward, you know, that we need to build on a spirit of unity, a spirit of oneness, and a spirit of also sustainability. So I thank you once again.